Okay, so we are playing white, we are playing against a friend from chess.com. <clears throat> so I'm going to play the English, uh, starting with the C4. Uh, by the way, guys, I hope you enjoy from the new intro. I woke it, uh, walk on it um, this morning and also I did uh, manage to do some editing. So I guess uh, the board seems like um, a better now from, uh, from before. So obviously he's going to think it of the bishop. Um, Let's make it interesting. Let's go e4. You always need to be aware from any kinds of uh, bishop to b4 in order to restrict this knight and win this uh, pawn. So right now, let's keep developing. I guess he can try to uh, attack this pawn. So we, we need to keep that in mind. Also, I guess that uh, d4 is a move, but Let's prepare it. Okay, so let's have an exchange in the center. This is good for us because uh, if after the exchange, uh, this knight is no longer going to um, uh, punish white for jumping to the to the center of the board. So I'm not really afraid from it. Um, well, in this position, I can also close close this bishop. So I think it's going to favor us. I guess he will jump to the center, but if he jump to the center, we're going to win a pawn. So he can also go back. He can also maybe jump to um, uh, before. But as you can see, yeah, it's it's quite passive right now. He might be try to challenge the pawn from uh, from c7. So obviously we can continue with our development. Let's develop the bishop. Okay, so maybe we'll try to develop uh, this uh, dark square bishop from this diagonal, I guess. And notice that uh, we can always think about uh, playing uh, h4, h5, because we can just uh, completely open up the position. Our king is completely safe. We can always castle queenside. There, like, there are many plans. You can castle, you can go with this knight and play f3, you can go f4, I mean there are many many plans uh, just take notice that you can try maybe to attack this pawn so at this position <clears throat> I guess let's go h4 and I will try to open up the position as soon as possible so maybe even yeah so even playing like uh, I know it sounds it, it seems like a passive move but even playing like uh, knight g1 in order to try to open up the position can be nice, but you can always try to play uh, g5. Okay, so if he's going to play g5, I still don't really have any answer for it. So, And also take notice that it's going to be hard for castle because then we can uh, snatch this pawn. So let's consolidate by playing f3. Okay, um, we can obviously go for this pawn if we want. I don't really want to allow it, allow him to play uh, g5. So let's say, for example, we play knight to h3, we play h5, then he's trying to maybe to play. Um, um, g5, we can maybe even sacrifice. Or we can even go for, uh, let's go for uh, g4, let's be aggressive. Let's be aggressive, and again, I don't really afraid from it because our king is really, really safe, our queen is close to the king. And yes, yeah, so let's see how it's going to be. Um, so in this position, obviously, if we're going to play h5 now we can go for a g5 and lock the position and then we probably have to sacrifice in order to open up the position but we can also play a g5 ourselves and now you have a fork on the, it's not really a fork but you we are taking both the knight and the pawn so you need to react to it you can take and help you open the h file you can uh, move the knight but then you can try to open the h file by four so this can be really, really interesting. Not an easy position for black. And as you see, guys, <clears throat> in this position, you, you have a lot of flexibility. You can even uh, develop 
you can short castle, you can uh, develop your bishop like this, and long castle, I mean, there are many, many op opportunities for you. Um, and as you see, we are attacking the knight, <coughs> we have an open h file, um, and we do need to find an attacking move also, for example, uh, moving this bishop away and try to jump to the attack from this um, h2 square can be a very interesting uh, point, so where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? I mean, I, I can even go... Uh, bish I, I mean, bishop d1 feels more accurate maybe because... You know what? Bishop d3, d3 can uh, do the trick because now we can jump to h2 and we can always uh, long castle if we want. So if we're going to play uh, bishop d2, it's, go it's going to block the king if we need to move. So I'm not really a big, uh, big fan of it. Also, in case that uh, we try to attack this pawn, we can also... Um, uh, try to consolidate and this bishop will also um, uh, we, uh, stay, protect this uh, weakness. <clears throat> so obviously we can play on Passa. We can take and open up the bishop a little more but and I don't really want to allow him to play uh, f4 but right now I think we can go for this move and then he must react to it and I don't think there are many options for the knight so <clears throat> I guess he will try to go to um, f4 in order to put some space to the knight and like to to say okay so if you're going to win my knight I'm going to win my bishop uh, to win your bishop but it's not really working because we can take this knight with a check and after uh, sorry if he push uh, f4 we can take this knight with a check and then uh, move away the bishop, we're going to be up the exchange, we're ready to queenside castle um, and the position just play itself, so <clears throat> as you see obviously we can take the knight uh, but he might uh, even win uh, our queen if we are not careful so we need to keep that in mind that he can try maybe win our queen so this is uh yeah this is really really good from our opponent so maybe playing even uh, f5 seems like an interesting choice because if we take he can lock our queen and i don't really want it so maybe for example we can somehow take the knight and try to use our pawn or, or our bishop to uh, give another check, then we can maybe um, uh, succeed on the attack. Okay, so he sacrificed the exchange, which is really good for us. Now we can obviously delete... Okay, so if we're going to take it with a check, um, his queen is going to protect this knight. So let's take. This is obviously the best option. And again, you need to be careful from any tricks, any any attacks. Okay, so we can even play uh, queen h7. Now this is not uh, available, so we need to play... Um, King is uh, king eight. So yeah, let's go for the attack. Don't really see any reason not to do it. And now we got a very very nice fork. We can even play. We have uh, many many options in this position. We can even play <coughs> a pawn take g6. If he takes, I can play, take with the check. But we also have a very nice fork. So. If in this position you would try to attack our queen, you can always take with the check. So this is a very interesting position for us. And also if the knights move, we can take this pawn with check. So again, you take this with the check, you don't really need to be afraid. And I guess we always, almost have a checkmate. So this is obviously not a checkmate, but we can take the rook. Maybe we got something else. Maybe we can somehow win the game, no, but we always have this uh, escape square, so let's take. <clears throat> and obviously this is the GG for our opponent, we can even take the queen, he take, we take the knight, we win the game, so... Yeah. 
And obviously, if it, if he's going to take with the king, you can give a check and try to take the other the other um, rook. So as you see, we are up the exchange a lot. We are also attacking this rook. Let's attack this rook again. Also, this pawn is protected. So let's take and win the second bishop. Now we can try maybe attack our bishop. Hmm. Yeah, we, we are still battle because we can take this pawn. We can take this pawn with a check. Uh, not with a check because he moved, but... As you see, this is just a complete GG for our opponent. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter uh, what we're going to do now. Yeah, as you see, we didn't really even uh, long castle, we didn't really even uh, move. So, <clears throat> what I want to do now is to close the position for him completely. And as you see, it doesn't really matter, you can take the knight. It's not, it's not really... Uh, it's not going to do anything, anyway. We're going to win with the, our rooks. So, let's make a queen. Okay, so resign. So, I do want to check the game review. <clears throat> Hope you enjoyed from the game guys and if you can sub my channel I'll be much much appreciated. So we played pretty well. Okay, so obviously the engine don't, doesn't really like the, this position. Uh, I do play knight to f3 mostly but I did want to try to challenge... Um, to, to try to play this kind of differently but... Seems like... We fixed that afterward. And yes, this was, wasn't really accurate, but uh, I hope I, I managed to explain my, uh, my idea. Okay, and we did play g4 after. Oh, so in this position we can obviously go for the pawn first. So my bad for... Um, I saw that in this move, if you remember, but yeah, I missed that. Anyway, we managed to open the h file completely. This was a good idea uh, in order to jump with the queen to h2 and launch an attack. And again, you, you cannot really take this knight because you might find yourself uh, losing the exchange. Like, you can try maybe sacrifice the exchange, but uh, black is going to be better. So, so we take the pawn. We take... And in this position, you don't really want to take with the check because you can take, and then you don't you don't really win this knight because you can just take this knight with this queen. So uh, even though it's tempting to play those moves, I know, but try to calculate before doing anything like this. And we take. Now we give this check. And now I don't really, as you see, I don't really afraid for many, um, any of those positions because it's not uh, any of those uh, moves, sorry, because it's not really risky anymore. It's, the queen uh, is no longer uh, under threat because you can take with the check. Oh, so we, have, we had a mate, so let's see. Take. Oh, so take with the pawn. So what's the idea? Let's check it out. Let's see, mate in three. You make a new... Okay, so you make a new queen. So it doesn't really... He cannot really take because... Yes, because if he's going to take, this is going to be a mate. So very, very nice idea. So as you see, the game was kind of longer. Um, you don't really have to take all of these pawns mostly. You can just go for the mate completely and... Uh, and win, win the game. Um, yeah, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed from the game and uh, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.